Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back. So today I thought I would do my monthly favorites for you guys. I have kind of a random mishmash of things, hair, makeup, non-makeup item I thought I would talk about today. I don't have a ton of things. It's been a hectic month in my house, as you guys know. If you've watched my previous video, we are painting the entire house. It is done, but it is not all back together, which is why you see messes around here and there. But it is what it is, and it will come together over time. I'm trying to just let myself let some of that go. So let's jump in with the favorites. The first thing I'm going to talk about is not a beauty item, um, but for anyone who has watched me on Instagram or here, you guys know I love my coffee. <laughs> um, and I found a new one that I, it's not new coffee, it's new to me, that I am really loving. We were out to dinner last week and at the restaurant they served this brand and so I and it was delicious and I thought oh I'll look and see if I can find K-Cups in that brand and I did and it is the um, Lavazza, Lavazza is that how you say it? which is an Italian uh, Torino Italia uh, so Italian brand of coffee and the one I'm drinking is Gran Aroma which is a medium roast and it says smooth and aromatic um, it's delicious it's so smooth it's a it's a nice bold flavor. I like a good flavorful coffee, but it's very smooth. So it, um, you know, you don't get much acidity or anything like that from this one. I really love it. Sorry, my phone is ringing. Yeah, we don't need to get that. Okay. Uh, next, let's jump in and talk about my one skincare item that I am going to share with you guys today. Um, oh my goodness. Sorry about that. I got insurance issues, so I'm sure that's what that's about. Um, the first thing, I, the first thing I'm going to talk about is a skincare item, and this is one of my favorite cream masks. Uh, I have talked about this for years. It is still one of my all-time favorites, and I have used it a lot this month. And it is the Sicily Black Rose Cream Mask. I love this. It is, um, you know, it's plumping and smoothing and brightening. It does all of those things. I love it in the winter especially because it's so smoothing and plumping and this time of year it's so dry here the heater is running the heater is still running uh, it hasn't really warmed up that much I do think we're gonna get some 50 degree temperatures this week so I'm excited about that but you know my skin is still really suffering from winter and so I have gone to this a lot this month I've used this for years I continue to go back to it it's probably one of my favorites of all time love okay let uh, we'll talk about a hair care item really quick I'm not going to dwell on this because I just talked about it in my last video but I have been using this for a few weeks now and I I won't do my hair without it let's just say that and it's the Redken Guts 10 root lifter root booster what do they call this volume spray foam uh, it's just for the roots but it sprays like a hairspray so and it has a good punch to it so you can really get it at your root and then just massage it a little bit and then go on with your blow dry. I like it because it's it really does give great volume, but it's not stiff. Like it, your hair near your root doesn't feel crispy when you're blow drying. It's still, you can blow dry really smooth and all that stuff. Highly, highly recommend this. Highly recommend it. I love a good root lifter. This is my new favorite. I've tried lots. Uh, where are we going next? Okay, I'm going to talk about what I'm wearing on my eyes today. <clears throat> and I have worn this a lot this month. I like quick. Again, the month has been hectic, so I've been getting ready very quickly. But I'm not one that, even if workers are here, I don't tend to like to run around without makeup on. I don't know, it's just my thing. Um, and so this paint pot from MAC is one of my favorite all-time quick eye looks. And it's the color Constructivist which is just a, it's a bronzy brown. It's deep though, it's a nice deep shade. It's what I have on my eye. I just take my finger, I put this all over my lids, like the mobile part of my lid, and then I just blend it out really quickly near the crease. If you blend it quickly enough, it blends into a nice soft brown in the crease, and so you could do a single pot look. And then I take it and I just drag it underneath the eye as liner as well so quick quick with one item and then what I usually do is take my bronzer and just put a little bit of my bronzer in the crease to warm up the crease a little bit so that's what I have on today I have worn this a ton um, you know I love using 
products like this for quick, quick eye looks. The great thing about this, I, you don't even have to take time to prime the lid. This is your primer, your shadow, and everything. And then I just take a, you know, a separate brush with my bronzer and put it in the crease. I'm using the bronzer anyway. Um, so I love this, and it works as the liner. It's super quick. Um, I highly recommend this color. Also, um, really anything that's you know in a pot like this works great like that if it's a long wear shadow. So um, if I'm traveling with my girlfriends for like a weekend, I'll just bring this um, as my liner and my um, you know my eyeshadow look, and then my bronzer to to do my crease. Just because it's quick, easy, fast, stays all day, all night, whatever you need it to because it's a long wear. Highly, highly recommend. I am also going to talk about this palette, and I did talk about this earlier, but I've had it for a few weeks now, and it is definitely, it has definitely been a favorite for me um, this month. You know, I talked about the um, Naked Reloaded palette. I, I still stick with my, um, I like this way better than that palette. It, um, it's, you know, there's, it, the pigmentation is a little bit better it's easier to work with I love the fact that they're round as well um, it, the, you know any brush fits in them because it's a nice round size pot the price point is good $48 you get 12 shadows so I love this I highly recommend it if you are a fan of MAC products I love that it comes in a nice hard case it's not gonna get dirty it's plastic it's easy if you're traveling it's got a big big mirror so you can do your makeup I love it. I, I'm not at all sorry I bought this. It's a great one. And this is the nude model version of the art library. This comes in three versions. I only bought nude model and I love it. Love it. Um, lastly, I'm going to talk about two lipsticks. The first one is the um, Powder Kiss lipstick from MAC that I bought earlier in the month. I love this. I really love this. I got the color Stay Curious which I did put on in a video, but I have worn this a lot this month. The, the formula is, um, it's this one right here. The formula is matte and feels like a powder. It feels like you're not wearing anything. Once you put it on and it dries down, it feels like you have nothing on your lips, but it's a nice lightweight matte lipstick and it doesn't, for me, doesn't bleed outside the lip lines or anything. It is stinky. I'm going to tell you that. Like when you smell these, they're stinky. But um, it goes away right away. Like once you put it on in a couple of minutes, the stink goes away. So I can actually get past that, which is tough for me. But I highly recommend this formula. It feels really cool on the lips and it looks great and it wears really, really well. The other one I'm going to talk about is what I have on today. This is an old favorite for me, an oldie but a goodie. It is the NARS Audacious Lipsticks and I am wearing the color Brigitte today, which is just a pretty um, rose, kind of a warm rose color. It's this right here. I love this formula. It wears, it's sort of a semi-matte, I would call it a semi-matte lipstick. It wears really nicely. It's, it's heavier than wearing like the Powder Kiss. It feels like um, a full lipstick on the lips, but it doesn't feel drying at all, but it stays put. So I really do enjoy this one. Brigitte is what I've been wearing. The other one that's a favorite for me that I'm out of that I don't need another lipstick, but I would love to have again is Anita, which is more of a peachy tone. Um, but these NARS Audacious, this formula is amazing. So I highly recommend the formula and I love this color, which is Brigitte. Um, I think it's um, soft enough you could wear it with any eye look, and almost everyone could wear this color. Um, is that it? Yes, that is it for today. So those were my favorites for the month of March. It has been great seeing you guys a little bit more often. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos coming a little bit more often as well. Um, please share with us in the comments what some of your favorites for the month have been. If you've tried any of these and love them, let us know that as well. That is it for today. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, and I will talk to you all again soon.